A fierce face-off at New York's first and only Democratic gubernatorial debate last night. Incumbent Governor Andrew Cuomo and his opponent, progressive Cynthia Nixon, got into a contentious back and forth after the governor seemed to take a dig at Nixon's past career as an actor. My opponent lives in the world of fiction. I live in the world of fact. <laughs> let's, do, let's just do a few facts, okay? The subway system is owned by New York City. The, the subway MTA has system been controlled Ex by the state since me. 1965. Can you, can you stop interrupting? Can you stop interrupting? Can you stop lying? Yeah. Uh, as soon as you do. It was feisty and candidate Cynthia Nixon joins us now. Great to have you here. Thank you. Great to be here. Okay, so for our viewers who may not live in New York, just a quick recap as we understand it. Um, this is the sort of 20 cent version. You got into this race because you didn't think that Governor Cuomo was doing enough for the state of New York. But he has raised the minimum wage. He ha has fought for the toughest gun laws in the country. He has gotten paid sick leave for workers. And he signed the Same Sex Marriage Act that allowed you and your partner to get married in 2012. Back then, you said he exhibited, quote, exemplary leadership. So what is your beef with the governor of New York? So I did vote for Andrew Cuomo eight years ago because I remembered his dad fondly and because I thought he was a Democrat the way he said he was. But since he's taken office, he's governed like a Republican and he's handed over massive amounts of power to the Republican Party. And there are a lot of reasons that I'm in this race. But first and foremost is education, which is something I've been fighting on for 17 years, ever since my oldest child entered kindergarten, um, because New York schools are the second most unequally funded in the entire country. Uh, and our kids are owed $4.2 billion, billions of dollars that is owed to our high, high needs, low income school districts. Um, and this is money that any Democratic governor uh, should obey the, the, the command of the highest court in New York and invest this money. And Governor Cuomo refuses to even acknowledge it, much less invest it. Hmm. This is one of the key reasons that I'm in this race. But honestly, there are so many issues on which New York could be enacting real progressive change, but we have rhetoric. So you, you mentioned the $15 minimum wage. That is something that Governor Cuomo fought and fought and fought mm -hmm. tooth and nail uh, until the unions uh, backed him into a corner and he finally flipped. A few months before he actually embraced the $15 minimum wage, he said a $13 minimum wage was a non-starter. Mm -hmm. He was proposing ten fifty. dollars This uh, is a perfect example of a kind of thing that he enacts and claims ownership of, but actually he he was he was pushed to and was all right. dragged kicking and screaming I all hear the argument. way. There is a fifteen dollar minimum wage now, though. That 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 is where it stands right now. Let well, me, it has not yet it has not yet even taken effect, but, right? It's it, I understand. It's, it's I understand. not even taken effect but, but yet. But it will. One of the interesting and dynamics. And there's no plan for upstate. One of the interesting dynamics overnight. What's that? One of the interesting dynamics last night was you were trying to stand up to Governor Cuomo. Governor Cuomo was trying to stand up to President Trump. Uh, he tried to make the debate all about how he's standing up to the president and the White House. I, I, and you said something to the effect of, you know, you stand up to President Trump like President Trump stands up to Vladimir Putin. Um, wh what did you mean by that? Well, I meant that he, uh, he tried to sound like a progressive. He tried to take on this issue of whether America was great. He said something. Donald Trump tweeted at him. He folded like a cheap suit. And what we need but, in but New I, York. But I guess what I'm asking uh, is, is, do you believe somebody... what got him in trouble? What got yeah. Governor Cuomo in trouble was he said, you know, America's never been great. Do you think he should have stuck with that line? America's never been great. I think that both his initial uh, initial line and then his retraction of it were really ham fisted. And, and yeah, I think that that both were were real errors. And what I think is what we need in New York out of our governor is not somebody who just, uh, you know, attacks Donald Trump rhetorically. We need someone who's actually fighting the Trump agenda. We need, like, for example, on my first day in office, I will expand access to driver's licenses for undocumented people as a way of staunching the flows of deportations from ICE. This is the number one, the quickest, most effective thing that we can do in New York to stop ICE from coming into our communities and tearing families apart and turning New York into a police state. This would be a very simple thing for the governor to do, 
and he hasn't done it. So does he really care about protecting New Yorkers? Does he really care about protecting our undocumented people? He has given so much power to the Republicans through the IDC, through these turncoat Democrats that he's incentivized to vote with the Republicans to give them the majority. And it's the reason we haven't uh -huh. passed the New York Dream Act to protect our dreamers, that we haven't passed the Liberty Act to stop our law enforcement from collaborating with ICE. There are so many things that we could be doing to fight the Trump agenda, like passing single-payer health care, uh, which we are so close uh -huh. to in the legislature, mm -hmm. but the, the governor has never led on, like like 100 percent renewable energy. We have a Climate and Communities Protection Act that the governor has never backed at a time when Donald Trump is pulling out of the Paris Accords. Uh, okay. This is something that we need to be doing. Cynthia Nixon, we're told that you need to go, but we really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. And we should also let our viewers know that we did invite the governor on Governor Cuomo uh, and he was not available. But Cynthia Nixon, thank you very much for being on New Day. Well, I think, and the, the last thing I would really like to say is that the primary is two weeks from today on Thursday, September 13th, and anybody who wants to vote for a progressive alternative to Andrew Cuomo should come out and vote for me. Got it. Thank you very much. Great to talk to you. Thanks so much for talking to me.